Okay, so let's go ahead and analyze the slope then, because this is what you'll do on your for your experiment. I have my y equals mx plus b equation. I will relate this equation to the quantities I actually plotted. So my y value here is pressure. Pressure equals my slope value, this m. That's what we're going to try to solve for. Times the x values are temperature. See my pressure on the y-axis and, and my temperature on the x-axis? This plus whatever number. This is a y-intercept. And for this case, when pressure, when temperature goes to zero, pressure goes to zero. So this y-intercept denotes the presence of systematic error. Y-intercept means there's some systematic error. You will need to know this for your IA. I'm just going to let you know right now. Systematic error occurs when you have uncalibrated instruments. It's really hard to detect. But if you do your IA and you should have a directly proportional relationship between your independent and dependent variable and you end up with the, with the y-intercept, it means you have some systematic error. We will ignore the y-intercept in this um, experiment. And all I'm going to ask is that you figure out what your slope value means. I know that pressure and temperature are proportional to each other. And I know the proportionality. The proportionality is the ideal gas law. PV equals NRT. Since I plotted pressure versus temperature, then my slope value is N R divided by V. This is my slope. I divided by volume on both sides. And when you do that, you have pressure equals N R divided by V times T. So this 5,912 for my linear equation should equal N R divided by V. Well, what's the N value, the number of moles? If you go to your simulation and make sure that you kept it constant, for this case, I chose 150. That's my number of particles. Whoops. My number of particles um, divided by Avogadro's number. So the N value, whoops. my N value is 150 divided by Avogadro, 6.02. E23. The R value, this is the gas constant. It has a number 8.314 as a constant, and it is in your data booklet. And the volume, so I told you in the paper that the height is always 10 nanometers. That's 10 E negative 9 meters. The depth of this box is 3.5 E negative 9. That's 3.5 nanometers times the width. The width is whatever you had it in the simulation. Most likely you left it at 10 nanometers, but if you change the width, not a big deal. Just make sure to record this. So I think if you have volume constant, you can't change it. Okay, times 10 E negative 9. So when I do N times R, 150 times 8.314 divided by 6.02 E23. I get a very small number, 2.07 E negative 21. And then I divide by the volume. I divide by open parentheses 10 E negative 9 times 3.5 E negative 9 times 10 E negative 9. And I get a slope value then that is 5,901.8. And the units would be moles. Actually, I could just do Pascal per Kelvin because the slope units are the rise units over run units. And you can see, actually, I would round this up a little bit. You can see that it's pretty close to the value here. Okay, 
So hopefully you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.